For the past three years, biologists with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department have monitored the Encampment River Bighorn Sheep Herd as part of a statewide Bighorn Sheep Health Surveillance Study. But just as important, they're learning about the animal's selection of habitats. In late January, 10 bighorn ewes were captured and sampled for disease and given GPS collars to track their location. Saratoga Game and Fish biologist Teal Kafad says the sheep herd was established back in 1976 with a transplant of 52 bighorns from Whiskey Mountain near Dubois to the region. But over the years, the herd has stayed mostly at around 60 animals. It likely peaked around 1982 with 150 individuals. And from there, the population has been pretty stable, if not stagnant. So we're really trying to get an idea as to what's happening within this population, um, if there's some habitat limiting factors. And getting this uh, very fine scale location information from these callers will help us determine if habitat is a limiting factor for this population. Blood samples indicate if the animal is getting enough minerals in its diet. Nasal and tonsil swabs can show if a sheep carries respiratory pathogens that can cause pneumonia. An ear swab looks for mites that can cause scabies, and a fecal sample can show the presence of lung and intestinal parasites. With an additional 11 collars on other sheep already collecting data, this study will eventually provide a blueprint to improve sheep numbers and hopefully improve hunter opportunity. Ultimately, we're trying to figure out what makes this population stay stable, how can we potentially make it more resilient, and how can we improve habitats to potentially get a more robust population. So ultimately, I think that would benefit sports people um, that are interested in having this opportunity to uh, hunt in this herd. There is opportunity, of course. We do have licenses every two years um, within this herd unit. Folks can hunt this herd uh, along with an adjacent herd, the Douglas Creek herd unit. But if we can kind of figure out what is making this population stay stable and not increase, we could potentially look at, at ways to increase opportunity by increasing this population. The 10 collars will fall off in November 2022. Another 10 collars will release in November 2023, where they'll be retrieved and the animal's hourly locations for the previous three years will be collected. This population of bighorn sheep are popular with the public, landowners, and sportsmen, so increasing their numbers benefits everyone from hunters to wildlife watchers and photographers. By understanding habitat selection patterns, biologists can prioritize effective habitat improvements. With Wyoming Game and Fish, Ray Hageman.